breakfast in bed. Good morning. So after that delicious breakfast, we have a day off today and we thought of making something different so you can get to know us a little bit more. Johnny! Yes, madam. Good. So we've been traveling now for, well, making travel videos for three months now. It's been really good fun, a lot of work, but well worth it. Uh, and we thought we'd try something different today so you can get to know us a little bit more. I will explain. We have questions and we have to answer who's more likely to do that thing. Uh, Johnny's going to have his name and my name and I will have the same. Okay. Okay, let's do it and bring the questions. I'm excited, this should be interesting. <laughs> We're going to learn a lot today. Okay, first one, first question. Who's more likely to pack fast? Where's me? What did you say? Johnny. Johnny. I want to pack everything and I am always have to try on everything, so I'm super so. Maybe you can make a video about it. Maybe I can make a video to about it. Hints and tips. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just easy at packing. Just wear what you wear at home in another city. Of yeah. course, if it's cold, wear a jumper. It's yeah, it's something that simple. I have to learn. Okay, next question. Who's more likely to forget something important? Uh, I'm gonna move on there. Why? Why? Well, how many times have you forgot memory cards or batteries? How many times or... did I forget to print tickets or have passports or, or me? Other... How many times me? No, you don't forget because I get them. Ah, I... ah. You, you're like a mother. I travel on my <laughs> own all the time, and you, you're I... always like, do you want me to look after your passport? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how you survived without me doing that. Yeah, I know. How, how did I even come to Spain without Chris letting, looking after my passport? <laughs> Next question. Okay. Who's more likely to ask for directions? In this day and age, I think asking for directions is a dying art. We've got Respond. Google Maps. Respond. One, two, three. Yes, because I'm a person of people. I like talking to people, not to phones. They are super useful, but <clears throat> some other times they don't tell you the truth. Oh and my they want goodness. You to... they... Chris, <laughs> it's a Spanish thing, I think. People love asking for directions. They'll phone their mum to ask them directions when their mum is in another city somewhere. We don't do that. Yes, you do. I don't do that. People phone their mothers and they go, oh, hello, Google mum. Tell me, how do you get here? That's not true. It is what true. We do, what we do is we ask for directions to people of the place. And if you go to a, a place to where people is very nice, they actually take you to the place. And on the way, they recommend you super nice places. That happened to me in the north of Spain, in Scotland too. Okay. Who's more likely to get lost? One, two, three. No, I am going to change my mind. Well, in this question I have to say that Johnny knows better where he is and where he wants to go. But, surprisingly, in Berlin I was the one guiding everyone in the metro, so I was never getting lost in Berlin. So why I wasn't getting lost? Because I was letting you take control for once. What? It's true. <laughs> it's true. Okay, I, I'm more likely to get lost, yes. usually. Uh, who's more likely to start speaking the foreign language? Well, this is a bit... One, two, three. Oh, oh, you have me too. Yeah, because... I can say in Hungary... No, in... In Slovenian, I'm a pink unicorn, so that take you anywhere. Yes, I'm Rosnak Samorog. And well, Johnny usually he has a very a variety of languages 
of bars. Yes. He knows how to order a beer in so many languages. Two beers, more important too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember when we were in Where? in Hungary. Budapest. Yeah, in Budapest it was. And he went to order a beer and then the waiter started speaking to you in Hungarian and you had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not the first time. No, yeah, I know it happens regularly. However, you can speak French. I can speak French. I'm almost French. Yeah. Uh, who's more likely to overtake pictures? Overtake pictures. Take more pictures take, than necessary. Take. Oh. Uh, like the necessary. Yeah, take pictures of everything. Ooh. One, two, three. What did you say? Me. Yeah. I think you can overtake pictures of geology. What? We don't need so many <laughs> pictures of rocks. You mean Slatharote trip? That I love the rocks of Slatharote, and I was filming them and making pictures to them all the time because I find them very interesting. But, believe it or not, he's a professor and in our first date, it's like, no, not first, but first times we were meeting, he was like a professor telling me those things about rocks and animals. Yeah, yeah. things that interest me and get the ladies <laughs> revved up. I don't know about sweet talking. <laughs> Next yeah, person. And here you are. <laughs> Who's more likely to be impatient? at some point of the uh, trip. That's Johnny. He can't queue, he can't walk slow. The world would be so much better run <laughs> if everyone was like me and it behaved is. like a dutiful citizen instead of not queuing correctly and not walking fast enough. Eh? We you know who you are! <laughs> We're gonna have to this be grumpy all the time for these kind of things. That's ways. because the world should be run the way I say it should be. And when I'm king, it will be. So don't worry, watch out for that. We'll vlog it. Who's more likely to pack unnecessary things? Does okay. that include snakeskin boots? Or? Includes unnecessary things, Tony. Mm. One, two, three. Why me? Because you pack so many clothes and you never wear them. But they are necessary things that we can wear. But you don't For wear example, them. For example, Johnny packs things like snakeskin boots for going to the beach. Essential. Ding! Beach. Then he packs things like funny things that he finds very funny that they are useless. Like? I don't know, you buy so many things in Tiger that they are useless. Like what? I don't remember at the moment, uh, but I remember I'm bagging and saying, why Why are you taking Okay, this? I'll give you some examples. Bunting, ding, essential. White okay. suit, ding, essential. <laughs> hip flash, ding, essential. What's a hip flash? It's like a little pocket filled with sweet, sweet liqueur. Um, Who's more likely to cook? One, two. Johnny is the cooker. Johnny is the cooker. The chef. The chef, sorry. I have nothing to say. I cook sometimes, but he cooks more. And when we travel, he's the cooker or decides a good restaurant. I make some nice beans on toast, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, next question. Uh, who's more likely to be organized? Uh... I'm the organized one. There's no, no help. No arguments. Maybe a little too organized. And sometimes I'm a bit. Let's obsessed. arrive three hours early to a flight. Let's let's print sixteen boarding passes. <laughs> let's. In fact, we'll chop down our own tree and make sure we have enough paper to print all our boarding passes. Hopefully, there'll be enough room in our hand luggage for it. <laughs> sometimes I know I'm a bit too obsessed because I have in paper and in an app on my phone because yes I have so many apps on my phone. <laughs> um, Who's more likely to dress better, dress elegant? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. This guy. This girl. It's true. Sometimes 
Okay, now I'm changing my mind. <laughs> Joni is the only guy that's fun. There's such a strange thing. Spanish people dress really nice all the time in spring. Not all the time, but you'll walk around and you'll say, oh, everyone looks so nice dressed today. Go on holiday, they all wear huge puffy jackets, wearing comfortable, like, jogging bottoms, like they just got out of bed. I, I don't understand it. <laughs> if Madrid is no different a city to London. Why do you have to change? Why don't you just wear what you wear in Madrid in London? We need a sleeping bag as a coat. Yeah. <laughs> Hats and things. And then sunglasses. <laughs> like that's how you that's a uniform of a Spanish tourist. I will work on that. But please tell me in the comments if you really think I dress that bad because I don't think so. Yeah, please do. Please. Confirm my bias. <laughs> Confirm my one. <laughs> Make me feel more comfortable with that. <laughs> Who's more likely to knowingly break knowingly. the law? Knowingly. <laughs> knowingly break the law? Johnny. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a rebel. Uh, you, you can't cage this bird. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Who's more likely to get arrested? Hmm, I wonder who... Yeah, like I say... He's a dangerous rebel, man. Dangerous man, rebel without a cause. <laughs> Not no, saying I have broke the law, because I'm a good boy. He's a good boy, but he's always like, why don't we do this? And I'm like, it's illegal, Johnny, we can't do that. I didn't know that. So, probably that's why. Mm -hmm. Okay, and... Our last question, who's more likely to go streaking? <laughs> well, one, two, three. You, you would do that. <laughs> Actually, I have done that. You have done that. It's the most liberating feeling in the world. I suggest each and every one of you right now, stop what you're doing. <laughs> take your clothes off and run out into the street. People will appreciate it. Or not. Things happen. It's <laughs> gonna be a good story one day. Do it. But haven't you been skinny dipping? Yeah, when I was 16. Well, that was that. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up. If you want to see another one of these, if we get enough questions from you, who's more likely, uh, post them down below. We'll do another one. Well, that was it. Uh, follow us on our Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for keep updating and see you next Thursday.